she doing? Funny boy. Hey guys, welcome back to Raver's Mead. Uh, so today's video is kind of for me more than anything else because I want to document what I'm doing here with blue for future reference and I want to also document the condition of his feet for future reference as well so that I can look back on this in the summer and have like an accurate idea of any changes that have happened as a result of what I'm doing here. Uh, so basically um, I'm going to be showing you our hoof care routine for blue now. Um, now I have, oh boys, are you having a bromance? Yeah, I have uh, touched on the subject in a couple of videos. They are really enjoying that. Look. Oh, I am going to show you. Um, this is something that I'll do once a week now. Um, now, I've touched on this subject in a couple of other videos, and I've said that I've been using the stock and tar on his feet. Now, that is pine tar. I'll show you guys that in a minute when I get it out. Um, but I, there's something else I need to do before I put that on. Are you having fun playing with that? He's such a child. They're still grooming, look. <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you that pine tar in a minute um, and I'm gonna pop that. I'm putting that on the bottoms of his feet and the walls of his feet now uh, because I noticed that where I'd been putting it on the soles of his feet, the hoof quality had improved so much that I decided I was gonna put it on the walls of his feet as well to see if we could get that part of his hoof as healthy as the bottom now is. And it is looking very, very promising. It's looking really good. Oh, boys. They're so cute together. Uh, but yeah, so the stock and tar is going on his feet twice a week. This routine that I'm gonna do now, I only do once a week. Um, now the first thing I do, I've actually got some footage that I took earlier and it's starting to rain, that's not fair! I have a little bit of footage that I took earlier, so the first thing I do when I get him in from the yard is I hose his feet off and then I hippie scrub them to get all of the dirt and the muck out, um, out of any cracks, um, get it all out from around his frog and everything like that because I want his feet really clean and I also need them dry. So I will go ahead and pop a little bit of footage in here now of me doing that. Okay, so that's the cleaning bit done. Um, after that, I just popped him in his stable. I left him in there for about an hour until his feet were dry and I've got him back out now. Um, and now I want to rasp his feet. Now, I should say, like, I'm not a farrier. I have no idea what I'm doing other than I know I need to take any curly bits off that are starting to peel up and I just want to even up the edge of his foot. I'm not trying to shape his foot, I'm not trying to make any changes to his feet. I am literally just, I mean, it's like the equivalent of filing your nails. I'm literally just going around the edge and tidying up any scruffy bits because we find if we leave those scruffy bits, they tend to split and then the splits go up the foot and then we end up in an even bigger mess. Uh, so we were advised by our farrier to do this. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys that. So, oh yeah, this is my new toy. <laughs> I was given that by my boyfriend for my birthday which made me really happy because I love useful things. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's my little hoof stand. So if we have a look at his feet before I get them, uh, before I get the rasp, sorry. 
So we've got a few little bits like this and you can see they are due a trim next week but you can see they're just a bit scruffy and there's all these bits flaking and peeling up. Um, his backs are the same pretty much. Um, I just want to give all of that a tidy up. That's quite a bad bit, I don't like that. But they are getting trimmed in a week so it'll be okay. Um, this here is just a build up of tar which um, I don't know if I should take that off or not really oh wow the quality of the hoof underneath that is unreal oh my goodness oh blue you've got actual horse hoof under there wow oh that's amazing that is amazing yes yeah, so this here this is the hoof tire that's just a build up of it that's on his feet from where i've been putting it on but underneath that build up, look at the quality of that. I don't know if the camera's going to do this justice. But down here, it's all like grainy and liney and really brittle. Oh, well done, Bluey. Really brittle and horrible. But up here, wow. Wow, he has proper hoof. That's so cool. I'm literally so happy I hadn't noticed that. Cool. Okay. Well, in that case, I don't think I'm going to peel any more of that off. I'm just going to leave that on there and put more on. I mean, I should probably maybe scrape it off once a month or so, just so he doesn't get an excessive build up. But that is doing a great job. That's awesome. Yay. Uh, yeah. So rasping time. I'm going to pop you guys down. Hopefully I'll be able to get some good shots for you. Like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, I may have to move him actually because this is not going to be productive to me being underneath his feet. Woody, can you go and eat some hay please so I can do Blue's feet? No, I'm going to I'm going to have to move him. This is just not going to go well otherwise. Come back. Yeah, mum. Yeah, I'm sorry to break up your romance, but I need to know that you're not going to fidget and stand on me by accident, okay? Lovely. Well done. Good job. You've messed up your hair now. I just brushed all of that. He's messed you up. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to get some good footage of this. I don't know how well this is going to go. So I use the hoof stand for the rasping just because um, I find it really difficult. Like, I don't know how farriers hold horses' feet the way they do. I genuinely don't. Um, so yeah, all I'm going to do here is just take these little wispy bits off. I'll give you a closer look. Actually, now I've got his foot up. So all these little bits here, I'm just going to tidy that up. Oops. Don't fidget. Don't do it. Don't do it. That. What I ought to do, rather than struggling with his feathers, is put the tubey grip on. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's a little trick I learned from a farrier as well. Honestly, this is so much easier doing this with this thing because I haven't got to worry about breaking my back trying to hold his foot up. camera's a bit wonky. That's not good. Okay. There we go. Can you scoot your smidge? Just a little bit. Oh. Boy. Right. Let's have this one then. Good job.
good job, Bluey. So this side has like a rough side and a smooth side. Um, I'm just using the smooth side for this because that's what I was advised to do. <laughs> Don't fidget, don't fidget. This one's bad. Look at that, Bluey. That's awful. See all these little, like, curly bits? Um, oh, I'm getting really hot doing this. I'll take my coat off a sec. Okay, yeah, so all these little bits here, if I leave those, they tend to split further and further and they go further and further up the hoof. It just does more damage to leave them. Yeah, see, I struggle with positioning myself. Like, doing the front legs isn't so bad. Doing the back legs is hard. <laughs> okay. But I'm sure I'll get the hang of it eventually. See, what's difficult here is I'm having to keep a foot on there to stop him from tipping it over because he's being a bit lazy and he's putting all of his weight on it. But, uh, I'm happy that it's not me that he's putting all of his weight on, to be perfectly honest. Try to hold some of your weight up, darling. Would that be too much to ask? I have to put my foot on there, I think. Don't tip it, you monkey. This is hard, people. Seriously, I have 
so much respect for farriers since trying to do this. It is like hard. <laughs> Because where he's got all of his weight on it, it's kind of wobbling the tripod around. And I mean, to be fair, a lot of farriers will do this. Like holding the foot. Like they won't even, they won't even do this with the tripod. So they're holding that weight. Like hats off to farriers everywhere, seriously. I think that's good enough, Bluey. Not too shabby. Oh, my bad, bud. Okay. Oh my goodness, that hurts the back. Good job. Like seriously, if anyone out there is a farrier, hats off to you. Whew. Okay, that's that bit done. So, that's that bit done. As you can see, um, I mean, like I said, I'm not a professional. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just taking the rough bits off and tidying them up a bit. I probably could have done a neater job than that. But he is getting his feet trimmed professionally next week. So, yeah, they look much better. Uh, so now, <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and put the pine tar on there. Oh, we're a bit wonky. What's going on here? <laughs> don't stand on me will fall out so this is the stuff I've been using and it is making such a difference honestly uh, that's what it looks like it's minging and I need to get some more I will have to go out somewhere today and see if I can get some of this uh, but yeah it's pretty gross pretty thick kind of like treacle and that is going on your feet sir <laughs> side of this stuff. Hello. Have you got pieces of wood stuck in your teeth? I don't really have much sympathy. You shouldn't have eaten the stable wall, should you? Silly. Silly. Oh uh, yeah, the only downside of using this with these horses is that it kind of sticks to their feathers, but given how good it is, I really don't care. Like, I will take, I will take sticky feathers for the benefits that this stuff gives. That's fine in my book. Up, up. So I'm getting it literally in everywhere. <clears throat> I want it right down in the cracks, down the side of his frog, on his frog, all around the white line particularly anywhere that there's any um, cracks or chips or anything like that. Actually, one more thing I've just realised that I want to document is what the underside of his feet look like. Now, I wish I'd done this a couple of weeks ago when I started using this stuff because that did not look like that under there a few weeks ago. Um, definitely not. All done. Finished. Do you want to smell it? I don't think you want to eat it. Or maybe you do. I don't know. I am covered in it now. Pretty standard. Oh, good boy, Bluey. Right, okay. Well, there you go. That is 
my current hoof care routine for this one. Um, like I said, this video is kind of mainly for me because I want to document what I'm doing, the health of his feet, <laughs> cheeky, how they're looking, um, and then I'm going to look back on this uh, in a few months' time and again in the summer. Um, and I've got this like reference point now with actual images of his feet and a video of exactly what I've been doing. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. I'm going to get his rug back on and put him to bed because he's hungry. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.